Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art lab. I'm very excited to be working with my Patreon group challenge this month. Uh, every month I set a challenge. Sometimes it's fun. Something like, you know, everybody does a flower or a specific color scheme or something like that. Um, this month, uh, once again, we have a guest artist joining us and it is Sarah Mack from Sarah Mack Art. Her YouTube channel will be linked in the video description below. She and I are both teaching at the Flute Art Boutique Conference in Dublin, Ireland at the end of June this year. And uh, I thought it'd be really good uh, for us to practice one of the, the techniques that is she will be teaching, which is the ninja swipe. So I'm really excited to see what the rest of the art lab has come up with. There's a whole um, premiere train of the people that are in the group that have YouTube channels, but the but at the end of my video will be pictures from the uh, people who participated in the Patreon group that don't have YouTube channels. So stick around to the very end and see what they came up with. Um, I am going to walk you through my colors and the little twist that I'm going to do on this technique. So I'll start here with the base coat color. I have a whole bunch of this mixed up. This is a mix of lots of different leftovers. Um, all of my neutral colors kind of go, when I have leftovers, they all go into the same slot bucket. And uh, sometimes it's table scrapings, that kind of thing. Um, and this is a lovely, kind of like a, a deep metallic brown color. And it's going to be beautiful as a base coat. And uh, then I have two uh, golden fluid acrylic colors. This is carbon black. Uh, which I've never used before, actually. I always use Amsterdam lamp black, so I'm in interested to see how this works out. And then I also have uh, quinacridone nickel azo gold, which unfortunately has been discontinued, but I still have some left. Um, I think this is going to be a, a great use for it. And then I have two DecoArt um, Extreme Sheen colors. This is 24 karat gold, and this is copper. Um, and then I have two This Little Piggy pigment colors. This one is brulee, which is a, a beautiful kind of a uh, creamy color with a gold shift to it. And then this one is Billabong, which was one of their uh, most recent releases. I'm very excited about using this color. These are all neutrals and browns, golds, that kind of thing. And I couldn't have all warm colors. I needed at least one cool color in there. And I think blue always goes with um, the, the brown tones. So I'm excited about that. Uh, this little piggy also makes uh, these uh, stir sticks that I use all the time. You can see them in all of these cups. Uh, this little um, um, stir stick here and this larger one, which they call a piggy paddle, are perfect for ninja swipes. Uh, Brian uh, from uh, Spontaneous Brian um, Creations, I think is the name of his channel. Uh, he and Sarah Mack have uh, designed a specific tool for the ninja swipe, but I, f uh, I want to go for a minimal look here and I think when I've used it in the past, it creates really big swaths of, of color in the in the uh, swipe that you make. And I want my, uh, my uh, ninja swipes to be um, thinner and smaller than that. So I'm going to use these as my swiping tools and I will be editing using a, uh, a skewer, which is um, which I got from Sarah Mac. Actually, it's called she calls it a smack stick. Um, and the little twist that I'm doing is that normally you put down your base coat, you make a puddle and you uh, do the ninja swipe and, and, um, uh, and you get these beautiful lines and then you tilt the puddle off the bottom. Um, I don't want to do a lot of tilting this time. So I have put up a little barrier of painter's tape on the end down here because I'm going to put my puddle right here at the end so that I, when I um, ninja swipe this way and I tilt back this way, I don't have to tilt too far to get that puddle off. Instead of puddling it up here, I'm gonna puddle it right against this little barrier that I've made. So um, I'm excited to get started. So I'm going to put on some music for you and uh, while I put on my base coat, and then we're going to just be fearless and fling some paint. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Yeah. 
Okay, I could fiddle with this for days. <laughs> Half of the fun of this is the editing. Of course, the, the ninja swipes themselves are a lot of fun. And you can see, I put a little um, canvas that's still already wrapped. You can see how much paint ended up on my little backsplash there. But let me take you in for some of these details. I always like adding in a couple of little spirals and I always put a little gold dot in the middle just um, uh, to give it a, a, a place to end. There's a little place that I did an edit. I think these colors are gorgeous. I'm so glad I used that billabong. But look at these spirals that you get from the flicks. And I like that I did two puddles right on top of each other. I try to use the darker colors first, kind of like as a backdrop to the lighter colors. That's a pretty little spiral there. Look at that, really pretty with the black and the blue in that. That's really pretty. Yeah, these are just a lot of fun. I love these little wispy lines that I added at the end. I added some little seeds on this little end of a grass, grassy, um, piece there, another little spiral here. This spot here is really nice. Oh, and I love, look at that spiral right there with the copper and the turquoise coming down. So pretty. I love this little thing. It looks like maybe a, a slug that's, or a snail that's traveling through the garden there. And this one I blew out with my straw to make it look like it was blooming. I'm really happy with this. I hope you like it too. And um, let's stay tuned now to see what the rest of the art lab did. So here are the dry results of my Ninja Swipe. I'm super happy with this. This is so cool. It's such a fun technique to just let go and fling some paint and then, you know, editing it and, and, and uh, creating something interesting out of it. It's an amazing technique. Thank you very much. Sarah for inventing this. I love this TLP brulee. You see this creamy color here? From this direction, it's very creamy white, but when you shift the color, look how it turns gold. That is amazing. I love it. I love this color palette. Um, if you would like to learn the uh, ninja swipe technique, uh, Sarah Mack will be teaching it at the Fluid Art Boutique Conference in uh, Dublin, Ireland at the end of June. The website is fluidartboutique.com. Lots of other artists there. Sarah Mack is there. Um, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Mina Villegas, myself. Fosia from Fosia Creations. Fiona Art is teaching there. Uh, uh, Erica Hughes. It's, it's a, a great lineup of amazing artists. I hope you come join us. And um, now stay tuned for the photos from the Art Lab members who don't have videos uh, or have YouTube channels. And then immediately following uh, this video will be Sarah Mack and then the rest of my art lab. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and go mix up some paints and be fearless.